Okay, it's about um, it's about it's essentially about one day that went entirely wrong. So uh, a whole lot of things culminated on one day, and it just got worse and worse. And then something amazing happens at the end. So that's what the show's about. One day out of my life, yeah. where heaps of stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. And now I hear that you've got some slides um, in your show as well. Yeah, I'm Can using 35 mil slides, which are for you digital kids who've got no idea. That's a 35 <laughs> mil slide, which was a gift just then from Jenna as well, which is a little badge. Cute that. Anyway. Um, so I'm using these in the show, I've collected them from uh, all over the world, been on eBay and all this type of stuff and yeah, people are just th like throwing them away as well, which is pretty um, distressing away. really, because all these family memories. But what I've done is I've um, taken some of them, like the really crap ones, and then I've scratched messages on them, and then I project them during the show, all very arty, rah rah. But um, yeah, using all these uh, old memories and old slides of people I don't know. Yeah, it's cool. a bit spooky actually. They're a bit. Some of the images that are up there, because you know full well that some of them wouldn't be here anymore. So I'm looking at some of these images going, oh, that's a bit spooky. They're great though, it's really, really cool. <laughs> and thanks for my badge. <laughs> that's alright. Um, so I guess, have you got, if you've got whole collections, you can kind of make up stories about these yeah. people and then um, get a bit of an insight into their life. Well, that was kind of, that was the original idea for the show. Mm -hmm. And it might be something I do later with another show, is to like make stories out of old slide collections. But I labelled the show fail a while ago, and then this amazingly bad and great day happened in early January. So then I just rewrote the entire show around that day, which is um, it's a it's I think it's better than what I would have done before. So it's weird, but yeah, the slides are they just fit into it really nicely. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Um, now you told me that there's also a bit of an element in the show where it's a bit like a game show in your head. How yeah. are people reacting to that? Really good. <laughs> it's been really, really good. It's been amazing. I because I opened on Friday night, and I've never, um, I'd not even run, I'd not run any of the show in front of anyone before. So it could have been like, you know, not to make a pun, but yeah, it could have been an epic fail on yeah. opening night, and it was just. It's amazing. They really dig the the game show, like in particular. It's been it's been amazing. I'm so lucky. So are people, um, I don't know, with with your shitty trivia and things like that, is that what people recognise you most with? Do you think? Oh, or? I think so. Yeah, because all the other stuff. If I do any tally stuff, I'm kind of in disguise, um, hidden, hidden behind a moustache and a wig for Urban Monkey with Murray Foot. Awesome. Right. That's um. That's yeah. It's a little ABC show I did last year, and it's awesome. So it's out on DVD. Oh, just bang my knee. Um, yeah. So I think mostly from that type of stuff, like shitty trivia and Triple J stuff. Mm -hmm. And generally, how are the shows? How have the shows been so far? Uh, Adelaide shows, yeah. great, like amazing and packed and just a joy. It's really, it's yeah. There's a really amazing end to the show, which because you think it looks like the show's ended and then something else happens, which is the best thing about it because most people really respond to that, like stomping and cheering, and it's great. I got a half standing ovation the other one, which is pointless, but yeah. <laughs> Only half, and the other half, like, no, I'm not doing it. It's weird, isn't it? Just divided people, and then I, a couple actually, they, they divided. Like the, the, the girlfriend stood up, the boyfriend didn't, he was like, no. <laughs> That's great. It would have been good if there was a fight when they got home. Like, why did you stand up? I've had, um, I actually had a fight happen uh, in a show a couple of years ago in Melbourne where obviously the, the girlfriend was enjoying the show, the boyfriend wasn't, and every time she went to laugh, he'd like grab her arm, like, oh, don't laugh, blah, blah. And I actually said, I said, mate, you know, because he was in the front row, what's your problem? Well, like, maybe, okay, maybe you don't like me, that's fine, rah, rah. But, uh, you know, obviously your girlfriend's enjoying it. I said, you know, you just look angry. You look like you want to punch me. He goes, yeah, probably do. I said, well, you know, let's cause a scandal. Do it. Punch me. We'll get some uh, media out of it. And uh, he got up and pushed me in the chest. And, like, I didn't push back. We ended up in a crappy kind of... It was, it was pretty lame. So, yeah. Did it get a laugh? Got accosted on stage. No, everyone freaked out. It was pretty aggressive. But, yeah. I thought that was funny. Now, um, did, you, did you grow up? In Adelaide? Did, Hallett Cove. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Can you tell me about your Adelaide upbringing? Um, yeah, look, you know, all my dear friends are still here, all my childhood friends, and, you know, 
I love him and uh, it's, it's great to come back and see him. I think it's important you keep your real friends. A lot of people, in, especially in my world, like, I, I have a chat to them and they'll talk about their best mate and then I'll meet their best mate. Their best mate's someone that, you know, just met a year ago that works in the industry as well. Got to stick to your roots and, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah, Adelaide, uh, it's always, it's awesome to come back. And are you staying with friends at the moment? I wasn't going to, but I am now because uh, his house is so awesome. <laughs> Big, beautiful old sandstone colonial thing in, uh, in Prospect. And it's just beautiful. I walked in, I was like, oh. <laughs> the whole back end of the house. It's better than like sitting in a hotel room. It's, yeah, you just end up wasting time, and you buy yourself, you go a bit mad. So yeah, it's perfect. It's great. Oh. Yeah. Tell me, what's your favourite thing about um, being back in Adelaide so far? Um, oh, look, it's good to ride around. Oh, that sounds really daggy, but it's um, yeah, I just ride everywhere. It's great, and heading back, my original. I did my. I used to be a zookeeper, and my original um, work experience was at Adelaide Zoo. So I love going back there, and that's going to be the highlight: is going back on Friday because I'm going to be able to get a bit of um, panda action, <laughs> which I know everybody's like, "Oh, pandas!" But I'm going to be able to do, you know, a bit of bamboo in the mouth. It's going to be great. So I'm have looking you, forward to that. Have you booked your, your spot, your meat? Oh, I know some keepers there. Oh, cool. So yeah, lucky Special I've got some access. got some access, which yeah. is great. Nice one. So that's, uh, I think that's going to be the highlight, is um, meeting a panda, because I've seen a panda before in Hong Kong, not so cool, but um, yeah, the pandas here look great.